And that's exactly what we're doing. Ara, the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Mr. Speaker, right now, as forest fires are raging across the country from Nova Scotia to Vancouver Island, what are the Liberals doing? building pipelines and subsidizing oil and gas. They, uh, they, while they're patting themselves on the back, Mr. Speaker, in my riding right now, there is a fire burning, not just anywhere, at Cameron Bluffs, on the doorstep, Mr. Speaker, of Cathedral Grove, of the ancient rainforest in my riding. This is in early June, Mr. Speaker. We need the government to step up and take action on climate change, but also to ensure that there's a separate firefighting agency in Canada to support provinces when there's surges. We also want to make sure that they've got people's backs, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to mental health supports and climate uh, 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 infrastructure. So right now, like I said, Highway 4 is cut off. I can't even get home this weekend, Mr. Speaker. 30,000 of my constituents are trapped on the other side of Cameron Lake. Seniors can't get to their doctor's appointments. People can't get to work. Who are the greatest uh, uh, communities that are impacted? Indigenous communities. So my question through you, Mr. Speaker, is will this government have people's backs in my riding and across the country if my province asks for help? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the Honourable Colleague for, for his comment and also for, for his advocacy on, on, on this issue. Um, uh, he talked about the forest fire uh, situation in, in Canada. It is likely going to be the, the worst year in terms of forest fires. And the federal government is supporting all of the provinces and territories, as well as Indigenous communities, that have requested help from the federal government. I've spoken personally to some, to some in, in Indigenous leaders. Parks Canada has been working with some of them, either to, to evacuate or, or, or to support their community in their fire, forest fire forest fire fighting uh, exercise, but I'm, I'm the first one to recognize that we, we need to do more, Mr. Speaker. And when, I, when, when he spoke about fossil fuel subsidies, he knows that we're the best performing country when it comes to eliminating international fossil fuel subsidies that all, in, in all of G7. And, and that's not me saying it. I'm not patting myself on the back. The, the member can look at reports from Oil Change International or uh, declarations that our that organization like Environmental Defense have said. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question.